This video is going to look at how to find the mean, median, and mode in Excel. And on an assignment or a test, I would expect you to use Excel to always find these values. I don't expect you to find mean, mean, median, and mode, or really any of these um, numerical calculations in this chapter by hand. Always use Excel, it's much easier. So here I have some data, and this came from one of my previous classes with their end of semester grades. And we are going to see what was the mean, median, and mode for this class. The first thing I like to do is always sort my data in numerical order. You don't have to do this. Excel can work with data unsorted, but I like to sort it just so I can see what's going on. So to sort my data, I'm going to highlight all of my data. And then up at the top, if I go to editing, I want to sort and filter, and I'm going to sort it smallest to largest. Actually, let's sort it largest to smallest. It looks better that way. So we see that we had a bunch of students make A's. We had a good number of B's, a few C's, a few D's, and then one student made an F down there. So if we wanted to find the mean grade, which is the same thing as the average, in Excel, we would use the equals average function. And you just type in equals, then the word average, and open parenthesis, and then highlight all of your data, close parenthesis, enter. So we're averaging this data, and we see the average grade in this class is an 83, which is a good solid B. That's pretty good for a college level math class to have the average grade be a B. Next, we want to find the median. So we use the equal median function. So equals median open parenthesis. Then we highlight again all of our data, close parenthesis, enter. And we see the median is an 88. So one thing to note. The median tells us that half the students got an 88 or higher and half the students got an 88 or lower, which means half this class has a B plus or higher in the class. That's really good. But if you look at it, the median is a good bit higher than the mean. The mean was only an 83 and the median is an 88. If we look at our data, we see that we have a lot of grades up here in the 80s and 90s that are really close together. And then it starts to kind of drift off a little bit to the bottom, and we have a couple what we would consider to be outliers down here. This person that made a 55, they're way below the rest of the data, and even these 62s are pretty small. So these outliers are skewing the mean, they're actually pulling that mean and making it smaller relative to the median that isn't affected by outliers. The median just says this number is in the center of the data, whereas the mean is actually affected by how big or small the different numbers are. So in this case, the mean, the mean is smaller because we have some outliers. A few students did much worse than the rest of the people in the class. Then to find the mode, this one's kind of tricky. There is an equals mode function in Excel, but the reason I say it's kind of tricky is this mode function only ever finds one of them. So if we do our mode, and actually it says NA, meaning that there is not a mode, which I don't think I believe that. So again, this mode function is probably not even worth doing. Let's just look at it by hand. Um, so looking at our data, we see that 94 shows up three times. That's probably a good candidate for the mode. Scanning down, we see 88 also shows up three times. And nothing else shows up three or more times. So our mode in this case is going to be 94 and 88. And for the mode, it's probably easier just to do it by hand. If your data is sorted, it's pretty simple to look through and scan and see what points show up the most. But that mode function is really glitchy and we saw that it didn't work when we could see that there are two modes for this data. So the mode, maybe do by hand, but the mean and median function we can find pretty quickly in it. 